Hi, welcome back everybody. And then uh, today we're gonna continue to do the book two uh, animal books. Okay, so I hope you already continue to practice your book one. Okay, so now the book book two we're gonna start with called uh, Lao Su. The first thing is mouse. Let's see, mouse we call Lao. Lao means old. Okay, by itself, uh, Su is mean mouse. But we we just remember Lao Su called mouse, okay? Now <clears throat> the same ending we're gonna do with the Tai Su, okay? Tai Su mean kangaroo, okay? Tai is mean back, okay? Just like kangaroo has a back, okay? So we call Tai Su, okay? Remember D sound like T, okay? Tai Su, okay? Now the the next one we call Song Su, Song Su. Means squirrel, okay. All right. Now remember, the first one we call Lao Su, mouse. Second is a uh, Tai Su. And the next one is called Song Su, is squirrel, okay. Now the next one we call it a uh, Tu Zi, okay. This is kind of a little bit Zi. Zi is a little bit difficult uh, uh, to sound it in Chinese, okay? Uh, tu is easy, you just like me too, T-O-O, -O, just like remember, tu. Zi, zi is, um, you have to uh, listen in person, probably I can teach you, but in here you just have to listen because it's very hard to explain it. Uh, because Zi definitely is not going to say Zi, Zi, okay? It's zi, okay? So, um, so you just have to practice tu zi, zi. It sounds like, uh, zi. It sounds like with a, a little bit, uh, C and H in there too, okay? So eventually you will get it, okay? So you just memorize, uh, the best you can. And so rabbit we call tu zi. And then, uh, <coughs> the next one is, uh, let's see. Okay. The next one, we have ending with the same zi, we call hou zi. Hou zi means monkey. Hou zi is monkey, okay? Now, if we call it a uh, uh, xing xing, xing xing, can you see it? Yeah. Okay, xing xing is mean orangutan, okay? And then, Gorilla is called Ta Xing Xing, okay? Xing Xing and Ta Xing Xing. If this is not clear enough, and um, you can come to my uh, Facebook uh, group, you know, I will post the picture in there so you can see it clearly, okay? Um, because my zoom is very difficult in this camera, but, uh, but you can uh, come to to my group, they all will be in there. You can see uh, clearly all of it, okay? So now, uh, hou zi, xing xing is mean gorilla, uh, orangutan. Gorilla, we call ta xing xing. Ta means big, okay? So ta xing xing. Now, donkey. Donkey, we call li zi, okay? This is a, uh, this is a um lao, you know, the... The two dot, those are the German German uh, 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 spelling. So it's called umlaut. So it's called lü zi, okay? Lü zi, so it's a donkey, okay? So the umlaut, it sounds like yu, okay? Those are the, the sound, okay? So lü zi. Now, lion, we call it si zi, okay? Si zi, okay? This si is also pretty much the same like number 10 okay shi or si okay okay so this is called si zi okay the number 10 we call shi okay i know if you're a beginner you probably you were so confused about all those sounds but uh please don't worry okay you just take it one day at a time eventually you will get it okay now um tiger we call it lao hu you know, this is with the H sound, like, who are you? Who, okay? Except this is called the tone, okay? Who, okay? 
not hu, okay? This is a little bit slightly, a little bit lower, okay? The sound, so lao hu, okay? So si zi, and this is called lao hu. The next thing we call bao. Remember the B? If you can say the P word with no A, it's called bao, okay? Unless you cannot pronounce, then you say bao, okay? Which is Chinese speakers do not say that, okay? But you try your best anyway. So bao is a leopard, okay? Now chita. Chita we call lie bao, okay? Lie bao, okay? That's chita. So bao and lie bao. And the next one we call lu, okay? Just like, you know, dear, like, look at me. But don't don't put the K sound, just Lu, okay? Lu is a deer. And the next one, we call it a giraffe. Giraffe, we call it Chang Jing, Lu. Chang is mean long. Jing is mean neck, okay? So long neck, deer, okay? Chang Jing, Lu, okay? Chang is long. Remember, Jing is mean neck, Lu is mean deer, okay? So Lu and Chang Jing Lu. Now, the next thing, elephant. Elephant we always call, you can call Xiang by itself or you can call Da Xiang. Da means big, okay? Da Xiang, big elephant. But in general, we always call Ta Xiang, you know. But some people say Xiang is okay. We understand that. Okay? Now, camel. Camel we call Luo To. Okay. Luo To. Okay. These are not so, so difficult to sound. Okay. Luo To. Okay. Like toward. Like towards you. Okay. Luo To. Okay. Now, the next thing is called fox. Fox we call hu li. Hu li, okay. Of course, you can remember like hu, but the, the sound, the tone will not be the same. So, you have to say hu li. You know, the sound is not so high, okay. Hu li is a fox. Now, wolf. Wolf we call it one word only. Lang. Lang, okay. Not lang, okay. You have to say lang, remember. Not like English sounds like L A N G, it's like lang, no lang, okay? Lang, okay? Now, the last, okay, this is easy, this is long. Okay, this is dragon, we call L O N G, but never say long, okay? It's not long, it's not English long, it's long, okay? Alright, so long. Remember that a lot of my students always say long, dot, not no long, okay? Long. Now, dragon, if you, there's also, if you add a kong, you see, kong, kong in the front, kong long, it's become dinosaur, okay? Kong long is a dinosaur. Now, chameleon, chameleon, we say, bian si long, okay? Bian is mean change, okay? Color. Bian si long, okay? Bian si long, chameleon, okay? Now, the last one we call snake. Snake, easy to remember? You see, this is not English she, okay? But actually, snake, you can remember like you call a, a gentleman sir, you know? How are you, sir? So, this is called sir. Instead of sir, you call you call it sir. Okay, lower the tone. Okay, so snake is sir. So now we're done with the second book. So we're gonna repeat again. Mm -hmm. So repeat from the beginning. I hope re re remember from lao su, right? Lao su, and then tai su, okay, and then song su. Tu zi, uh -huh. and then hou zi, xing xing, da xing xing, and then li zi, si zi, 
老虎，豹，猎豹，鹿，长颈鹿，大象，骆驼。狐狸、狼、龙、恐龙、变色龙、answer. Okay. So now this book we are finished with this book. As I say, the homework. Um, if you if you need to uh uh learn how to write all those character. You can order the books from the Amazon. Okay, they have in Amazon. Okay, this is all the animals books, which is I, I design um to use the simple character in the beginning, and all are related. If you if you do the for example, you know if you do the sheep already, yang. Okay, then the next thing you can do the san yang. Okay, so. This is the same I, I have been mentioning before. Okay, so this is all from simple to the end. So uh, they start with uh, you know the the word first. I show you what is called yang, and then and there's always have a coloring page, and then which is to reminds the kid you know what is called yang. Okay, but you always reward the kid to color after they trace and then they practice. Then you can reward them with the coloring. Okay, so this is a book you can. Um, this is a, 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 a I think it's a three hundred pages. I think something like about yeah about like three hundred pages, two hundred fifty pages book. Okay, so they can practice it. If uh you want to order, you can get it from Amazon. Okay, but if you don't want to order, you can always come uh to my Facebook page. You can copy and then um. To have the kid practice, okay. And okay, so this is the second book we finished today, and also this is a review. Like last time, I told you you have to remember because eventually, uh, every time every every lesson finish, I will give you some um pictures. This is the pictures I always handed out to give give it to all my students so they can they can add extra uh, vocabulary or phrases, okay. So this is remember last time I teach you. This is how do you say I love you? You call it, 我爱你 okay. And then, thank you. We call 谢谢 And then, goodbye. We call 再见 And then, how are you? We call it 你好吗 Okay. So these are the basic phrases you got to remember. Okay. So uh uh, I will see you soon again. Um. I hope you enjoyed the lessons, and if you like, please don't forget uh, to subscribe and uh, click the bell so you you get the uh, the uh, post posting when I post, then you know, okay. And please share too. So I see you next time again. Uh, bye bye now.